why do you think because Breaking down the Austin McBroom versus Bryce Hall situation. Recently, tensions between the famous YouTuber Austin McBroom and TikTok star Bryce Hall have risen as both of them had spoken badly about each other. And on the 18th of May, during a boxing press conference, the tensions erupted and a full-on fight between the two occurred after Bryce tackled Austin. Fortunately, the fight was interrupted by the bystanders, but the heat between the two has not cooled down. In fact, an official fight between the two is being arranged. Today, we will be breaking down the Austin McBroom vs. Bryce Hall situation. Before we go on, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for future videos. The press conference. During the press conference, the two stars were not shy at throwing insults each other's way. Just a couple of minutes into the conference, the two started a war of words, humiliating each other all while shouting. The conference was a sit down between the two an opportunity to talk and to be civil. Yeah, right. We all saw where that went. The whole thing started to feel a lot like Paul Brothers vs. KSI and Deji's situation, and also the incident between Jake and Floyd Mayweather, after Paul managed to take the champion's hat from him during a conference similar to this one. This act also sparked a massive brawl. The whole thing with Hall and McBroom erupted after Bryce expressed his anger towards Austin. He said, don't step up on me like that. Austin didn't like this very much, and so he stood up. But Hall turned out to be quite agile and managed to grab Austin first. Before he could floor McBroom though, Bryce managed to floor himself. Austin then came to him and intended to beat him while he was on the ground. Luckily, everybody in the room jumped in and separated the two. McBroom was shouting at the people and at Bryce while Hall was being helped out by the security guards, much to his embarrassment. The heated fighting and throwing of words continued on social media after Austin mocked Bryce for his lack of strength to tackle anyone but himself to the ground. Uh, to put salt on Hall's wound, he went so far to compare his 10-month-old baby. The TikTok star was not pleasant towards McBroom either, and he even promised to put up a much better show when, quote, Austin's security isn't there to push him off of McBroom. What happens until the fight is uncertain. However, one thing is for sure, both stars' popularity has skyrocketed since all of this happened. The upcoming fight, Build Battle of the Platforms, each social media app will have seven representatives making up the pay-per-view bill. Both of the YouTube and TikTok stars are due to fight each other in the boxing ring on June 12th, and the build-up for the event is starting to heat up even more. Both of them are fairly inexperienced when it comes to boxing. However, Austin, being 29, is older than Hall, who is 21. Plus, he is the bigger guy of the two. However, just marginally. But looking at the press conference, it is fair to assume that he currently has the upper hand. To be completely fair, I'm putting my money on McBroom. Bryce is training hard though, and is determined to win the fight, as can be seen by his sheer will to perfect his boxing techniques in the shortest time possible. But it seems that his mouth overshadows his strength, as he didn't take a moment to shut up since the press conference. Many people commented on the conflict, including Jake and Logan Paul, and KSI as well the people who started the whole YouTubers fighting each other in the ring. <laughs> Bryce didn't like KSI's comment on the whole thing and called him out, after which KSI promised to eventually knock out Bryce. Geez, the kid just doesn't know when to quit, does he? Picking fights with people that are in your league is one thing, but trying to go against an already established and well-known YouTuber that is experienced in the ring, well, that is a completely different story. With a minimal chance of success, like say, David fighting Goliath, or maybe Jake fighting Mayweather. Come to think of it, Bryce's attitude reminds me a lot of Jake Paul, as both of them are full of themselves, and both of them think that they're better than they actually are, and Floyd and Austin are both older and more experienced than the other two. So, the whole situation is pretty similar. Well, except for the fact that Jake actually has, you know, ring time, and that Floyd Mayweather is one of the best fighters ever to fight in the ring. Both of them are far more experienced than Hall and McBroom. Anyway, most YouTubers think that this behavior is childish and not suited for two already grown-up men, but most of them stand with Austin as he is their colleague after all, and he did seem much more level-headed than Hall. Still, there's a whole crowd that supports Bryce, and the sheer vocalness of it is enough to directly clash with Austin's sympathizers. All in all, this will get a lot of media attention. With the two getting even more worked up for the fight, June 12th cannot come sooner, and fans will definitely be in for a great fight when the two enter the ring in Miami.
the two fighters. Both of these two are extremely popular. McBroom's YouTube channel, The Ace Family, has 19 million subscribers, while Hall has 19.9 million followers on TikTok, so they're pretty tight when it comes to popularity. However, TikTok seems to be the place for younger people these days, and it's fair to say that YouTube is turning into Facebook of this generation, as more and more people switch from YouTube to TikTok when it comes to sheer entertainment. Therefore, I'd say that there will be more people cheering for Bryce than Hall. Just speculation, though. On the flip side, Austin is a YouTuber on the rise, and he's getting more and more popular, so I might be in the wrong when it comes to popularity. Plus, there are, as I've stated before, many YouTubers that are on McBroom's side, and they might just be the thing that propels his popularity even more. Also, let's not forget that he is bigger and older than Bryce, so even the people that are not into these two channels might just stand with Austin, but Hall proved to be the one who strikes first, and he's also more agile than McBroom. Both of these two are just novices though, and the winning factor might just turn out to be luck, not skill, as both of them really don't have a lot of boxing knowledge laying around. Still, both are working really hard to improve on their skill, or lack thereof, and both are pretty vocal about it, with Bryce being a little more vocal than Austin. So, let's sum up the two. Bryce is the more vocal one, and the one that turned out to be more talk than show between the two. However, he did show a lot of initiative when he shoved Austin, and he was quite nimble to do so. Even though he turned out to be a bit clumsy and just managed to floor himself instead of McBroom, Austin, on the other hand, is the one with more muscles and probably experience, but he was also much less responsive and much slower than Hall, as he didn't manage to strike him nor defend himself during the conference, even though Bryce did have to work for him. Still, watching all this unveil was both pretty funny and pretty tense at the same time, and both of them seem to show loads of hatred towards one another. Let's just hope that their competitive spirits last until the fight, or we might be disappointed with it. Nevertheless, the fight will happen on the 12th of June, and there's a fair chance that it will turn out to be a great fight, a true fight of the platforms, as they say, or it might just turn out to be an underwhelming match of two people holding guard and being scared of the other. But who knows, maybe Bryce's swift strikes and agile movement may just bring the win to the TikToker, or he could just floor himself to the ground again and win the match for Austin instead. And McBroom could win the fight too, as he is, as I already said, the bigger of the two, although he did turn out to be quite slow, and that's what can cost him dearly. What do you think? Who will win this fight? And will it turn out to be the true fight of the platforms that we're hoping it will be? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I, for one, think that the fight will be worthy of its title, and both Austin and Bryce will put up a great show. I do believe that McBroom has a slight edge over Bryce, but hey, nothing's for certain. After all, many great fights and battles have been decided by luck. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for future videos. Until next time.